Emerging American defense contractor Anderil and U.S.-based eVTOL startup Archer Aviation this morning announced an exclusive new partnership to jointly develop a hybrid VTOL aircraft for critical defense applications, targeting a potential program of record from the DoD. Those are programs that Congress not only intends to fund, but has appropriated funding for them in the future year's defense program. The partners hope to bring together Anderil's expertise in AI and systems integration and Archer's ability to rapidly develop advanced VTOL aircraft using existing commercial parts and supply chains in a combined effort to accelerate time to market at a fraction of the cost of more traditional alternatives. As part of the announcement, Archer launched a new program, Archer Defense, which will be supported in part by some $430 million in additional equity capital the company plans to also divvy up for other, quote, general corporate purposes. The funds come from Stellanus, United, and new institutional investors, including Wellington Management and Abu Dhabi Investment Holding Company 2.0, an IHC subsidiary. Shane Arnott, SVP of Engineering at Anderil, says, quote, rapid innovation and scalable production are critical for maintaining technological superiority. Anderil and Archer share a common vision for advancing capabilities that meet urgent national security needs. The new military aircraft may be based, at least in part, on Archer's Midnight EV toll, which recently completed a transition flight while flying at more than 100 miles per hour in June. The company believes the craft, weighing about 6,500 pounds, is one of the largest eVTOL aircraft to complete a transition. Now, a transition flight occurs when the aircraft takes off vertically, like a helicopter, accelerates forward, and transitions from thrust-borne to wing-borne flight, like an airplane, with tilt propellers forward before decelerating and landing vertically. Adam Goldstein, founder and CEO of Archer, says the partnership and influx of capital will accelerate the development and deployment of advanced aerospace technologies at scale. Archer Defense will be led by Joseph Pantalone, who recently joined the company and has nearly 30 years of experience at Lockheed Martin and Sikorsky. IEN reached out to Archer and Anderil regarding further information on development, manufacturing, and the aircraft, but the companies have not yet responded to our request for comments. I'm David Manti. This is Manufacturing Now.